What's going on guys? It's Steve by himself today. Susanna's with the baby girl. They're doing their thing. Um, so it's just me. You got me today. That's all you get. You just get Steve. But anyway, um, I just got back from Disney Character Warehouse Vineland. Yeah, I just went over to Orlando Premium Outlet Mall and got to go see the Character Warehouse, see what was new. Um, I didn't make it over there last week. So this was my first time in two weeks getting back over there. So I was a little excited. wanted to see if there was anything new, any new good deals. And of course, I went over there, check it out, checked it. I went over there and checked it out. And you guys are going to get to go over there now and check it out as well. Um, I guess before we jump to the video, I just want to tell you something about the... Uh, about the virtual queue process. It has changed just a little bit, just to give you a heads up. Um, not a big change, but a little change. So basically, here's the deal. Before, uh, you you could get to the mall really early in the morning, like 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning, and a lot of times they had cast members already standing outside. They would go ahead and get your phone number and get you into the virtual queue. Well, I, found, I kind of found this out last week that they weren't going to be doing that anymore. And I believe it, well, I was told it's because the mall was complaining. Mall management, they weren't happy having character warehouse customers or guests kind of just loitering on their property. Because they're not open, obviously, at 8.30 in the morning. The mall is closed. The store is not open at that time. Um, so basically, people were getting to the virtual queue and just kind of hanging around outside. And I guess that poses a security issue. And a, it's, you know, they just don't want people hanging around the mall uh, when the mall's not open. So I had heard last week they maybe they were going to be putting an end to that. Because actually, I think mall security had confronted some uh, customers, Disney Character Warehouse customers, who were kind of hanging out early in the morning like that, and uh, told them that they had to leave, essentially. So anyway, long story short, it looks like that's in effect. Because when I went there this morning, um, how did it work? <clears throat> Make sure I explain this correctly. Okay, when I went there this morning, I got there at, oh, it was... 9.30ish, I guess, yeah, okay, let's say 9.30, I got there at 9.30 in the morning, and there was already a line that had kind of formed, kind of out in front of the warehouse, and they were there was no cast members yet, so I don't know who actually created the line, I don't know if it was just guests kind of being good neighbors, like they just formed a line outside, not very long, maybe 30 or 40 people, and then at 10 a.m., Cast members came out and they began getting everyone's information and entering you with your phone number into the virtual queue so that you could, you know, come back when it was your time to return to the store, or enter the store. But uh, that started at 10 a.m. Um, being that I was in the queue <clears throat> or the line that had formed it, you know, before 10 a.m., I only had to wait maybe... Well, the store opened at 11. I think I went in maybe like 10 minutes after 11. I got my text message. So to sum it up, make sure I make this help make this make sense. You can't get there at eight o'clock in the morning anymore and try to be like, I am going to be in right when they first open. They're just not letting you arrive that early. So essentially, I don't know what time those people were already in line that I saw at 9.30 a.m., but I got there at 9.30 a.m., 10 a.m. and a cast member came out, or a couple of them did, and they began taking our information, getting our phone number so we could get into that virtual queue. And I was actually told at that time by the cast member that took my number that um, by 10.45, 15 minutes before they opened, to kind of make your way back over to the store. And that's what I did. And I just kind of hung out for about another 10 minutes until I got the text message. I think I actually went in like right at 11 or maybe just like five or 10 minutes after. So anyway, that's the little change. Not a big change. It's more of a change, I guess, if you're trying to get there early in the morning. Um, it may not be necessary anymore to arrive at 8 a.m. I, I mean, I was told some people are getting there like 6 a.m. or something. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't think you can do that anymore. I think there's a good chance a mall management or a mall security guard is going to tell you, you got to leave. You can't hang out that early. So anyway, all right, that's the whole deal. Let's go to the video. Guys, head over to the warehouse and we'll see you back at the end here. All right, have fun. Alrighty, here we go. And just like that, we're back inside the warehouse. And just like that, new merchandise. Check out this Mulan doll. I haven't seen this. It's $24.99 for the Mulan doll. Very cool. There's Coco action figure set. We have Toy Story action figure sets. We still got Forky plushes, Woody plushes. Let's take a look at the Funko Pops. What do you have? We have Pirate Red here. We have little play sets. Anything new? Definitely what's new so far are these little action figure sets. And check it out. They have a little sword. Huh. 
Very cool. How much is the sword? Uh, $9.99 for the little light up sword. And it makes the sound. Different colors. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Still have a lot of Marvel little pieces here. They have the Iron Man glove. They have the Rocket Pop. We have Captain America Winter Soldier playset. You can see the price is $7.99, $10. Black Panther gloves are $9.99. Those I've had for a while. Ears, a lot of lavender ears, $3.99. Still have the denim angel and stitch plushes. Here are the current princesses. We have Jasmine Bell, looks like Ariel down there. All these are $7.99. The fleeces are still here. Those are $9.99. The Sven plushes, $7.99. Let's just take a look over here at this youth ball. First thing to see is they still have the Animator Bell Dolls, $12.99. And they've got a lot of this. But over here on the wall, let's look at the different shirts. This Anna shirt is $7.99. The Elsa shirt, $12.99. That's like a little tank top. If you need me, I'll be in my castle. Look at the print on that. Very shiny. $9.99. I'll be... I like my... It's so hard to read the cursive writing there. It says, I light my own way, $9.99. This one here, $9.99. These all look new to me. I don't remember these last time. I know that's new. The Moana hat, is it $3.99 or $7.99? I don't see a price on the Moana hats. I'm confused. Either they're going to be $3.99 or $7.99. Let me see if I can see them maybe somewhere else in the store that has a price on them. This little guy here is $4.99 from Frozen. They still have these little sets. Have they come down in price? Let's see. $9.99, same price. Okay, here, I'll show you the shirts down here in the bottom rack too. They have that sequin frozen shirt, Elsa. There's another Mulan shirt, I think, right? Yeah, Mulan, $9.99. <clears throat> I leave a sparkle everywhere I go. Very cool. There's another Moana tee, $9.99. Little Moana suit, $9.99. All right, keep on coming down. They have this mermaid aerial, this aerial hat here with the really sequin brim. They've had that for a while. Looking for anything new. This looks new to me. Pandora shirt, $7.99. This is cool. This Star Wars little sweatshirt, $14.99. Avengers shirt is $9.99. The 2020 shirt is $9.99. I'll just keep on going down, let you guys see them all. Look at this Pluto shirt. I haven't seen that one yet, $12.99. Looks like they have a bunch of the different Fab Five characters. Look, it's Goofy. This one is the same Pluto. Donald, who's here? Looks like that's it, so they've got Pluto. It's a two-piece set. Oh, is it the little shorts in there? See that, I didn't even notice that. So these have the shorts. So they have Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Cool, now look at this little hat. These hats are all $3.99, and so is the Minnie Mouse ears hat, it's $3.99. Very cool, but I like that so much. $12.99 for that. What a great deal. Still has a little princess outfits, $9.99. I have Buzz Lightyear, little onesie, Donald Duck onesie, uh, Minnie Mouse little princess outfit. I don't want to say princess outfit, Minnie Mouse outfit, I should say. Disney Baby, $9.99. Look at this one, little Cinderella. Very, very cool. What do we got down here? Look at the little Minnie Mouse pants, little outfits. Incredibles onesies. Here are the little hoodies. The hoodies are $9.99, $12.99 for this Minnie Mouse one. Okay, what's behind me? Minnie Mouse hat. Again, I'm confused because these hats are not marked up here. They're I think these are new, but I don't know how much they're marked down to. I'm either $3.99 or $7.99, I don't know. If I see a price, I will let you guys know. Here are the current outfits of those. They've got Belle's little costume. What do we have in here? We have Ariel. I'm just going around and let you guys look at them. By the way, they should give you the prices. $19.99. I think these are all $19.99, it looks like. What is this one? Yeah, it's like a little two-piece set. $12.99 for that. This is like a little, I don't know, like an athletic slipcover type of thing. Okay, whatever. It's got a hood on it, sleeveless. It says fearless and strong, $12.99. This is another Moana top. Look at that one. $9.99. This one here, $12.99. I think these are just like, uh, with maybe for swimwear, $12.99. They've still got the denim charcoal gray Mickey Minis. Those are $9.99. Here are the current Star Wars Vinyl Missions, $3.99. They have a little Simba Park Pal, $3.99. The little patch sets, 
$8.99. Alrighty, keep on coming around. Look at this, we have a little bell journal, notepad type of deal, autograph books. Those are the current pens. Uh, World of Disney Pixar sticky notes. Okay, sticky notes. Uh, more autograph books, more autograph books, more autograph books. Tons and tons of autograph books. Here are the postcards. Let you guys see the current postcards, all 99 cents. Here is the artwork. Is that one 19 $15.99 for that size. Here's a Han Solo or Solo movie piece of art, $25.99. Coming on down. Uh, those are not marked. Either, most likely $19.99, but I'm not sure. How much is this one? This They've had these for so long. $20.99 for those. Okay. Hats. Now I got this hat last time when I was over at International Drive. Again, it looks like somebody forgot to put the prices on all these hats. So none of them are marked, but I believe they're three ninety nine. They should be. Haunted Mansion hat. Let's see. It's not marked, but I'm going to hold on to one because I want that. Look, that's new. Foolish Mortals hat. Very, very cool. At first, I thought this was one they've had for a while, but now this is new. I'm holding on to that one. Um, let's see. Here's all the pet leashes. Look, they have a little Lady in the Tramp ball. Eight ninety nine. That's new. Take a look. Very cool. Little headbands for the for the doggies. Little spirit jerseys for your pets. More spirit jerseys for your pets. More of the Lady in the Tramp bowls. Jack Skellington ears. Okay, that's new too. Three ninety nine for those. Uh, oh, more hats. This is new too. Jack Skellington hat. I haven't seen that one. I guess that's three ninety nine. I guess. I hate not knowing, but yeah. No price on that. I'm assuming $3.99. Madame Leota wallet, $6.99. What's behind me? Some youth hoodies. $7.99. $12.99. $12.99. Here's a Pandora one. $14.99. Here's a little sweatshirt from Toy Story Land. $12.99. Leftover from Halloween, $19.99. What kind of Christmas ornaments do we have? We have ink and paint ornaments still. Gingerbread headbands. Wow, they're only $2.99. What a deal for those. $2.99 for these. Okay, forky ornaments, $2.99. Spike the bee, $1.99. And a couple of Christmas deals here. They still have the bags. They still have the um, hat, $3.99. These are the little outfits in here. Uh, they are marked down to $7.99. Very cool. What's on that shirt? Christmas, all Christmas. Okay. I don't know the character of this, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. It's $14.99. I'll have to look this one up when I go. I, mean, I have no idea who that is. I know who this one is, though. Sully's little jersey's $14.99. And this is Rocket's costume they've had for a while. Here's still some of the ink and paint merchandise. Let you guys take a look. I don't see anything new. It looks like the same stuff they've had for a while now. But definitely feel free to browse. Dish sets. The different tumblers, little pencil pen holders, magnets. Okay, let's take a look at some of the shirts. Alrighty, here are some of the shirts here. Let you guys take a look. Slinky Dog Rex, $7.99. It's Incredibles T, $7.99. Is this only nine? Oh, I thought it said $5.99 at first. The Mandalorian T is $9.99. I thought it was saying $5.99. Um, Ahsoka T, $9.99. This is new. Look at this one. Tower of, Tower of Terror. Um, tie-dye, right? Yeah, tie-dye. It's glow-in-the-dark, too. It's $9.99. It's a cool-looking shirt. A bunch of larges. Looks like small and large. I don't see any XLs there. Oh, they got the hat, though. Look at this. Very cool. This is a youth size hat, it looks like. Right? Yes, youth size hat. Again, not marked. None of these hats are marked. I'm very confused on that a little bit. They did bring the cars. Um, oh, here we go. $3.99. Okay, so they are $3.99. I'm going with $3.99 of the hats. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. But either way, cars, ears. Very cool. This tee here is $7.99. Tie dye here is $7.99. What do we have down here, down below? We have a Mickey Mouse sleeveless. $7.99. More hats. This Pandora hat here is $3.99. Now, is this an adult hat? I'm checking. Is it an adult? Yes. And look at that on the back. It's like um, a little snap connection on the back. Pandora hat, $3.99. Very, very cool. I like that. Oops, if I don't drop it, I don't want to drop it. 
Check out the Avatar. Yeah. This one's cool. They got the Avatar. Is this different? Is this youth or adult? Again, I'm checking the hats here to see if they're youth or adult. Uh, youth. So the blue one is a youth hat. That's a youth hat, right? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a shame because I kind of like that one more than this one. What do we have here? B and W. I don't know what that is. This is a test track hat. Twenty. Uh, well, I'm sorry. It was twenty-seven ninety-nine. That's a that, that's an adult hat. So that one shows that it's an adult. And they have two Groot hats. Check this one out. This one's cool. What else is down here? Skyliner cap. I like that one too. Oh, they brought an Aerosmith rock and roller coaster hat. Looks like the Skyliner one is an adult hat. $3.99 for that. I like the color. I like the white stitching on it. It's very cool. I might, after I finish making this video, take a look at more of the hats. Let's see. Either way, let's take a look at the Starbucks tumblers. These are all the different tumblers that they've got. We've got this classic Mickey Mouse straw hat. Very cool. Food and Wine Festival cutting boards are here, $6.99. Um, we have the Genie Lamp, $12.99. Tons of food and wine water bottles are here. They're all $5.99. Princess tumblers, $5.99. Food and wine festival water bottles. These are only 99 cents. Dollar, dollar, dollar. And then still we have the uh, BB-8 tumblers. Those are $7.99. I wish those were 99 cents. Um, Minnie Mouse visors and sandals, $9.99. Still got a lot of Crocs. Check out the ears, the flower ears. $3.99, I'm assuming. Oh, what is this? Goofy hat. <laughs> it's just a goofy hat. Why is nothing marked? Is this? I think this is the new strategy to confuse everybody. Nothing is marked. I don't see a price on the goofy hat, and yeah, I don't know how much that is. Okay, well I'll find out. Okay, here are the sandals. These are four ninety nine. All right, I just asked the kind cast member. The goofy hats are three ninety nine. These things are like, you know, like a theme park staple, especially like on your first trip, you want to wear the crazy Mickey hat or Goofy hat. And then the headbands are $3.99. Just making sure they have the red ears. Very, very cool. Red sequined ears and the American flag ears. All those are $3.99. Socks, current socks that they've got. Let you guys see the sets. What's behind me? Plushes. We have Cheshire Cat still. We still have some Galaxy's Edge plushes. There's Watto, Forky, Jabba the Hut, Lando, more lavender ears, some wishables. Ooh, this is new. Check this out. How cool is this? R2 DT wristlet. 29 20 99 We've got a small world wristlet, $4.99. We've got the they still have Indiana Jones bags and the big Star Small World bag. Not Star Wars. They have Star Wars on their mind now. Alrighty, what do we have on this side? These are luggage tags, right? Yeah, Nemo luggage tag. That's new, $3.99. Everything else here looks like they've been here for a while. Those are all those assorted wallets. This is the Haunted Man. No, Star Wars one. That's new, right? I might get this one. I want to hold on to that. Very cool. And back to the ears. Walt Disney World Black Convertible Hit Pack. Okay, they've had that for a while. $9.99, just moved it to an end cap. This bag is still here, $14.99. Current Lounge Fly, very cool. Check this out, it's this Lounge Fly Sequin Pastel Wristlet, $20.99, very, very cool. What is this one here? Chewbacca, right? Well, it says R2-D2, this is not R2-D2 down here on the bottom again. They have the Chewbacca one though, $20.99, very cool. And then they have this Millennium Falcon bag. How much is this? $37.99. Okay, well, what was, how much was this originally? I don't remember. 75 bucks. Wow. That was originally 75 bucks. Okay. It's cool. It's different. I still would like to see it go a little bit lower, though. Here are the current Alex and Ani charms. The current Alex and Ani charms. Uh, anything in there new? It's hard to tell, but I'll let you guys see. Scene watches, the Bull of a Watch, the Cinderella's Carriage Watch. Those are $197.99. Let's see, more ink and paint merchandise. It's the same stuff we just saw in the back of the store. They still have some miscellaneous um, travel luggage, $79.99. Here are Tink, what do we have here? Tiki Bird? Tiki Bird, I see like one snack umbrella, $14.99. I still love the Tiki Bird umbrella, it's so cool. 
Alrighty, let's see. We have the Marie Cat bags. Those are $19.99. And this is the current dainies that we've got. These are one per guest per design per day. The price is, if I can we see it. Right Doo -doo -doo. Price, you where are you hiding? Come on. There's a sticker. Ah. Yeah, you know, just a lot of stuff is just not marked. I don't know what it's marked. I think they're 90. Here it is. Is that right? One forty nine ninety nine. Isn't that weird though? Like it's not a sale price tag on it. It's just a normal sticker. One forty nine ninety nine. But that says regular price two ninety eight. Marked down to one forty nine ninety nine. So okay. Still have mermaid ears, which are three ninety nine. And here are the Crocs, the Halloween Crocs. And they still have a lot of these white Crocs left too. Let's keep on moving down. Actually, I don't think I saw these yet. The water bottles and the mugs. No, we didn't look at these all. We looked at some of them, but not this side yet. They have the Haunted Mansion, or no, I'm sorry, Tower of Terror. Very cool. This is the Haunted Mansion mug with the Toy Story characters, $5.99. Let's take a look at the adult tees. They have a Jack Skellington Sally shirt. I haven't seen this one, $7.99. This one's been here for a while. It's $12.99, $14.99. What's hidden down here? We have a Lion King Simba shirt. It's been here for a while, actually, $12.99. What is this one? Huey, Dewey, Louie, T. See if they have my size. You guys can kind of get an idea of the sizes that are hidden in here. Um, what is going on here? What do we got? Boogie Boogie. Halloween. Kermit shirt. Do they have that in XL today? No. How about this one? Little teacup shirt. Is that available in XL? It is. $12.99. I kind of like this one. It's a weird color. Though. It almost looks like when you wash a white shirt and like your reds bleed onto a white tee or something. It's cool though. Huh. $12.99 for that one. I might come back and grab this one. I want to see what other shirts that were available before I, before I jump on that one. What's hidden here? What is this? This is like a villain shirt. $14.99. It's actually the dragon. I forgot what the name of the dragon is. Um, we got Olaf, Donald, this is the Jiminy Cricket shirt, $7.99. Star Wars hat, the flat brim though, I'm not a big fan of those, but they do have a Star Wars hat here, $3.99, Incredibles hat. How about the button-up shirts? How are we looking on sizes there? Ah, no XLs here. And you can see which ones they've got though. Just kind of let you guys look. Hopefully in the camera you can see the sizes too. Here are the sizes all across the top of the hangers. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a cool one. It's $12.99, I like that. Mickey's like very kind of faintly on the shirt. What else is hidden in here? I got that shirt already. Um, here's a cool just retro kind of classic. It's like raised, it's that raised vinyl though. I like that, $7.99 too. What's this one? Oh, that's the grad night shirt. Okay. I missed that one by a few years. Windbreaker $24.99. They still have these. These are $99. Alaska DCL shirts. Moonlight Magic. Here's a Skylander T. It's cool. XL too. $12.99. Asante Sana Squash Banana. <laughs> $7.99. Very funny. There's another DCL shirt. That's new. I haven't seen this one. Mediterranean Greek Isles. $12.99. I believe yesterday in the shareholder meeting, Disney said that they plan to launch DCL by the fall. Fingers crossed. We'll get to start cruising again soon. Here's a cool retro Empire Strikes Back tee. $12.99. Large, large, large. No XL. That's a cool shirt. I probably would take that. I could find it in XL. I have this one in XL. The action figure tee. The Stormtrooper shirt. This one's cool, short sleeve t-shirt with a hood on it. I like that. There's that Empire Strikes Back hat again. Here's the Han Solo, but they need to have the match. The I know it's the Han Solo one, but they don't have the ladies match. Here's a Mandalorian tee. They've had this one for a while. Screen print, distress, $7.99. There's a Baby Yoda long sleeve tee, the child, $14.99. There's the Star Wars Windbreaker. Yeah, $19.99. They have that in XL. For me, I'm just not a fan oh, of the man. colors, but 
you know, it's cool. I actually probably would prefer the little tank top to wear to the beach or something more. It's $9.99 for the tent. I'll let you guys see all the keychains. Those on the top, the castle ones are $6.99. Look at that. How cool is that? It's like a whole set. They have the ears, they have the little coin purses. The ear ones are $3.99. Stitch purses, like the coin purses, these, I guess is what I'm trying to say. $3.99. Very cool. Let's do a quick pan of the ladies' tops. You guys can take a look down below as well. Ursula T. Jasmine. There's a food and wine tank top. Very cool. There's a little snack shirt, $12.99. We still have this design here, $19.99. How much is this one? A little rainbow Mickey T, $7.99 with the athletic collar. It's very cool sleeves. Here are the current leggings. They have the Muppets leggings, $12.99. Okay. Coming on down. But check this one out. This is cool. It's like a soft style V neck, $12.99. Very glittery and gold. Yeah, beat Disney World, $12.99. Just keep on coming down, let you guys see all of the shirts. Here are the current ladies' hats. Although, a lot of these hats are unisex. Like, that's a unisex hat from Rock and Roller Coaster, Trucker Cap, and they're all $3.99 now. So the hats are still down from $7.99 to $3.99. It's a cool little retro tee, $12.99. Look at that one. All like early 90s looking designs. Very cool. All right. Check that out, they have the tie-dye spear jerseys. I almost walked by, didn't even see these. How much is this? $24.99, very, very cool. Sizes are a little limited though. Actually, they're very limited. They're only in small. I don't see anything else other than small, right? Yeah, unfortunately small. They have this one too from Ink and Paint, I believe, $19.99. This is cool, like a little retro hoodie. $19.99. Here's the T, $14.99, very cool. Take a look at some of the magnetic picture frames. They have Lady and the Tramp, or all the doggies, actually. We have the pins here, Skyliner pins, $1.99. This, I didn't even tell you the price. $5.99 for that. DVC magnets. Uh, this is an Animal Kingdom Safari magnet, $3.99. Lucasfilm magnet. Mickey Mouse Magnet Bottle Opener. Okay, very cool. Pixar Magnet, that one's $5.99 by the way. $5.99 for these. I wanted to take a look at some of these other shirts. These are cool actually, $14.99 for the long sleeves. Nothing on the back here. They have them in green, yellow. Again, size is pretty limited though. This is like a lavender. While we're in here, we'll take a look at the pins real quick. They have the big Hero 6 pins. What in the world? What in the world will we do today? Oh, look at this one. So it moves, right? Look, you can pick your parks. How cool is that? Is it priced? $5.99, yeah, very cool. We got the Flag Castle pin, Castaway K, DVC, look, Yacht Club, uh, I Conquered Rock and Roller Coaster, Test Track pin, the Unicorn pins, very cool. Look at this, love, let's see, always be you. I'm sorry, I thought it said love, always be you. They have this one too. Here are a whole bunch of princess pins. Let you guys take a look at all of these. All the way down to Spin and Olaf down here. We have some uh, frozen lanyards, starter kit. I think these are $15.99. Yeah, $15.99. This Olaf uh, keychain is $6.99, sorry. Come on and over to this side. You have a lot of patches. These are Millennium Falcon patch sets. These are still expensive though, right? You're $14.99. Like I've said before, I want to see these come down a little bit. The 709 Stormtrooper Division, I guess, or something. First order, $3.99 for that pin. Black Spire Outpost. Uh, more Star Wars pins. I've got Chewbacca, Millennium Falcon. Interesting, right? A lot of this stuff is like sequel trilogy pins, I think it looks like. And a lot of stuff, a lot of this is from Galaxy's Edge. I'll let you guys just take a look at them all. Check out the lanyards on this side. Very, very cool. Okay. Here are the keychains, which are mostly $3.99. Let you guys take a look at all the keychains. Some of these are new. I like the Minnie Mouse one. What's on this side? Ooh, Pandora keychain. Is this and this lights up, right? Should. Eh, it should light it up. $2.99 for those, by the way. 
This looks like from Ink and Paint, $39.99. They've got the light up castle keychains are $5.99. These are $3.99. Uh, small World keychain, $5.99 with the little charms. It's all Small World, it looks like, on there. Yeah, it's like the ending, like adios and all the goodbyes or whatever. Stitch keychain, $3.99. These are the same wallets we saw earlier. Cool, like, like little coin holder keychains. Haunted Mansion, little dark mystery pin collection set. Very cool. And this one too, Tower of Terror, $9.99 for the Tower of Terror one. Look at this one, glow in the dark keychain from Haunted Mansion, $7.99. And a Haunted Mansion pin set. What's on this side? Uh, what do we have here? These are, la oh, lanyards from Toy Story Land, right? The Alien Claw Guy, but they are Toy Story Land. And then the Alien Guy keychains, $5.99. A lot of new keychains. Mystery pin sets for the princesses. Check out the mini bow wristlets. These are $20.99. What else do they have? They have the wallet too. Before we get around to the front, I will show you the phone cases. And let's say they have a couple magic bands hidden here. What we have just like the charcoal gray, the pink. This looks like this is Avatar. Yeah, Avatar magic band. I'll give you the prices. Uh, $8.99. This one here, $7.99. Couple different phone cases. They have uh, Dapper Dan, Mini Mickey. You guys can see they got a couple different phone cases. This is cool though. A couple otter boxes for iPhone 10s, right? Like iPhone 7, 8 to 10. Oh, they have an 11 otter box for iPhone 11 Pro. They're coming up a little bit. These are all for iPhone 11, 7, 8. Here's one. Here's an otter box for 10. Do I see the price on that one? Do, 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 do. It says select phone cases, 7.99. I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking those are 7.99. And look, they still have Mickey Mouse Rich Swatches down here for $7.99. What a cool looking watch with little leather bands. I like that. Now, I want to show back here too, real quick. More of the ears. Red ears. Oh, these are cool. I might get Susan a pair of those. I think she would like that. So they have the red ears. So these are only $3.99. More plushes, just so you can see. And I think it's time for me to check out. Alrighty, let me go ahead and check out, grab a couple things, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay, I just finished checking out. I'm getting ready to head back to the house, but I just want to show you. They have snacks. Look at this. They have little mini, it says mini sweets character cookies, right? Okay, 99 cents. All right, guys. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed checking out the warehouse with me. There was so much stuff to see and check out. Um, all the ears are still $3.99, which is fantastic. All the hats are still $3.99, which is fantastic. And how about the Goofy hat? Now, I'm going to say this. First thing Susanna said when I came home from um, the warehouse was, why didn't you buy the Goofy hat? She really, really wanted me to get the Goofy hat. So I don't know. I don't have an answer for it. Maybe next time I head over there or I plan to go maybe the next day or two to um, iDrive. Excuse me. I plan to go to iDrive. If they have the Goofy hat in iDrive, then I'll pick it up over there. But either way, it was a really, really good trip out to the warehouse. Got to see the flower and garden ears, the red and sequined ears. Um, you know, they actually have a lot of uh, baby clothes right now, too. So if you're looking for like little clothes for, say, an infant or toddler, they have a lot of you know a lot of really cool merchandise for that and still tons of plushes but either way I want to show you what I got because I did pick up a couple of things let's see what do I show first how about this one I got the Star Wars little wallet let me move the tag out of the way so you can see it it's super super cool it looks like um, they're taking off into what is it hyperdrive hyperspace yeah it looks like the Millennium Falcon like launching into hyperspace and speaking of Millennium Falcon that bag was cool I don't know I gotta think on that one it seemed a little bit expensive but I think it was a $38.99, but it was a really cool looking bag. And by the way, I do apologize in the video for thinking that the Ewok lounge fly was a Chewbacca lounge fly. I don't know. I had Chewbacca on my mind for some reason, and I was just thinking, it's Chewbacca, whatever. But anyway, I got this for Susanna. She really, really, really wanted these red sequined ears. I picked up a pair for her. Look how pretty they are. I'm just looking at the camera like, gosh, they're so rich and red and the sequins and stuff, bling, bling. They just look really, really cool. Honey, you like your sequined ears, right? So much. Yeah, if you didn't hear her, she said so much. So big points for Steve getting her the sequined ears. I did get her something else. The flower and garden ears, of course, from last year. Yeah, 2020, right, honey? Yeah. Yeah, but aren't they cool? Uh-huh. 
So Susanna, in case if, I don't know, I don't think it's picking up on the mic because she's a little bit far away. She's actually over there tending to baby girl out in the living room. But um, she said she already has flower and garden ears orange bird from last year. So now she has these. And I can't remember what kind of flower this is called. I forgot. Pe pe peony or something. <laughs> I don't remember. If you guys know what kind of flower this is, comment down below. Tell me to see if this is what the flower is for those ears. But either way, super excited to get these. And again, $3.99. And it made me think um, about, gosh, about a year and a half ago when Disney discounted all of the ears down to 99 cents. They just had to clear out a ton of ears. Some of you guys may remember that. I wonder if that's coming. I wonder if they're going to just bring a bunch of ears and put them all at 99 cents. And if so, how cool would that be? Now, I will say, if some of you guys that don't remember, or maybe you didn't shop at the warehouse back then, that is really what made the warehouse become what it is today, like this kind of crazy liquidation headquarters or something, in my opinion. It was the it's when they'd lower the ears to 99 cents, and once people found out, Oh my gosh, it's been busy at the warehouse ever since. So, Stevie got the hat. I got the little haunted mansion hat. Very excited. It's my second haunted mansion hat I've gotten since I've been, um, what, to the warehouse in like the last two weeks? Is I got the Master Gracie hat last time over at iDrive, and now I get the Foolish Mortals hat here from Vineland. And again, $3.99. I'm so excited. It's a great time to buy hats. If you want hats, it's a fantastic time to head over to the warehouse and pick up a bunch of hats. So you definitely can make yourself a nice collection for $3.99. Um, I actually like that blue, co I can't, let me think, was it blue? It was cobalt blue. The cobalt blue Pandora avatar hat. I actually like that color, just the cobalt blue. It said on the tag that it was youth size. I still think it's an adult hat, so I may actually pick that one up next time. And for you guys that know, Steve, me, <laughs> I keep speaking to myself like, was it in the third person? I have a hard time finding hats sometimes for my giant head. So if that hat will go on this head, then it's definitely not a youth size. <laughs> anyway, I also got this too. I picked up the, um, um, the mini Mickey throw. I really, really, really wanted to get this last time I was at the warehouse. And I got it this time. It was $9.95. I love the print on it. And the main reason why I got this is because I think it'd be a great prop to use when taking pictures of baby Marie where you can lay this flat on a surface and then have her sit on it and take some really cool photographs. And if I do that, I'll share some pictures with you guys. And either way, it looks like it's nice and warm and soft. So uh, Papa will use it too. Anyway, okay, so that's a wrap then on all the merchandise we got. Before I let you guys go, uh, one thing that I have been discussing, me and Susanna, a lot in our videos lately is our website, mousesecrets.com. And um, I just thought real quick at the end of this video, I would actually just show you the website and let you kind of just browse it one time in case if you haven't been there to look around yet. So here's our website. Um, we have a couple different links up here. One is for Disney World Vacation shirts. I'll click on that one real quick. Hold on one second. There we go. And you can see some of the different shirts that we have. Um, I have some tie dyes, and let me let me actually just say this before we even start going through some of this. I am uploading a lot of new designs um, daily, essentially. So if you guys don't know, I've been a screen printer, t-shirt maker for many many years. Mouse Seekers has been making shirts for years. We have a huge Etsy store. I don't have that link in the description usually, but you know what? In this video, I'm gonna put my Etsy store link too. So we have a ton of merchandise on our Etsy store as well, but we've been making shirts, vacation shirts for, I don't know, for years, <laughs> going way, 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 way back. So these are some of my more recent designs, but feel free to browse them. If you want some fun shirts, maybe for your upcoming vacation or something, Take a look. You might see something that you like. Also, I always mentioned we have a link for merchandise straight from the park. Check it out. We have a lot of ornaments. We still have the Stitch Crashes Lady and the Tramp. If you're not familiar with that series, there's a new Stitch for every month. Last month was the first one, which was Stitch Crashes Beauty and the Beast. This month is uh, Stitch Crashes Lady. I'm <laughs> How fast can you say that? Stitch Crashes Lady and the Tramp. And what's that, honey? Yes, we do. Um, Susanna was saying that we have the Ratatouille plus two. Yes, and this is the one that speaks French. <laughs> He's bilingual. He speaks English and French. How cool is that? Um, and I have some of the ears too. But either way, 
Um, well, anyway, what was I say about the Stitch? Next month is Stitch Crashes Lion King, I believe is what it is. So, But we just have a lot of different merchandise. This is Disney Parks merchandise straight from the parks that you can buy right off of our website. We've got some lounge flies, ornaments, lots of magic bands. Feel free to browse this. It updates all the time. I always have new stuff going on here. I actually have some um, flower and garden merchandise from this year, like the Orange Bird... Um, Spirit jersey, excuse me, the Orange Bird Spirit jersey, like the one I bought. <laughs> if I buy it, I'm going to put it on my website. So, not the one I own, but you know what I mean. I'm going to sell it if I like it. So, um, yeah, the Orange Bird Spirit jersey, which I love. I think they're so, so cool this year. They really hit it out the park. Also with the ears. Aren't the ears awesome? I love the Orange Bird ears from this year. So, anyway, if there's something specific that you're looking for that you don't see here, you can always go to Disney Parks Merchandise for Quest. Click this link. You just put your name, email, and number, and write in this little message box below what it is you're looking for. Like, hey, Steve, Susanna, I really want X, or I really want Y. That that purple spirit jersey, I want one. I think they have it at World of Disney. We'll try to help you out if possible. So, um, also, something I always forget to mention, we make face masks. We make tons and tons of face masks. So if you click this link here, it'll take you to all the face masks that we have. We have... Um, individual masks we have couple sets and actually you know what I think I have a mask here beside me at my desk let me show you something about our mask most of our masks are black but um, the material is stretchy see how it stretches so when you put it on it's it's comfortable like I said I have a big head so use me as like a gauge for if you think it'll fit you or not but I have a lot of room here still like it doesn't tug on my ears I see a lot of people, I see a lot of people in their videos and stuff when they're walking around the parks and their ears are like this from their mask. And I can't imagine what it feels like to have an ear bent over like this anytime, much less hot and sweaty at a Disney theme park. So these are very comfortable on your ears. They don't pull. And they're basically one size fits all. Um, now, I, I do have some youth masks. Let me say that. So if you need a... Kids can wear these too. We have sold these to plenty of teenagers and stuff. Actually, Susanna, she wears the exact same mask that I do. And I have a large head and her head is not nearly as big as mine. I would almost say like her face is a little bit smaller. So because the ears stretch, it can fit everybody. But I can get some youth masks. So if there's a youth mask that you want, all you would do is order the adult one here on the website. Just click on like, for instance, there. Order it, and then when you go to checkout, right, there's a little place in the note to sell it. Just write youth size, and I will send you a youth size instead of the adult one. The youth one is more fitted, and it doesn't stretch like this. It's it, it, it's, it's better for the kids or whatever. So um, what else did I want to say? I do have some white masks. Now, the white masks, they don't stretch as much. So if you're looking for one that's a little bit more stretchy, go with the black mask. But I just have a ton of different designs, and I'm always uploading new designs on here. Um, we have the little Han Solo Princess Leia mask. Very, very cool. So that's that's one of my favorites. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys real quick the website before I let you all go. Um, I will have the link for the site in the description down below. I'll have the link for our Etsy store down below. And I think that's it. Um, I think that wraps up the video. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers out there. If you are new to the channel, it's a great time to subscribe and click that bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun and any of the new content that's constantly going up. Um, I will be heading over to iDrive very, very soon, so you don't want to miss that video. Also, if you want to help the channel, give it a big old thumbs up on the video. It really, really helps us out, like I always say. It's a simple algorithm deal. It tells YouTube you enjoyed the video and that someone else may enjoy the video like yourself and they will suggest it to them in their suggested videos on YouTube. Also comment down below, what was your favorite piece of merchandise at the warehouse or what's your favorite thing you saw on the website? Whatever it is, comment down below. That's y'all's place to talk to us. Love speaking with you guys down in the comments. It's really, really cool. Um, and yeah, that's a wrap on the video. So guys, take care, have a good one. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Susanna said bye. Is that your baby Marie back there too? All right, guys. We'll see y'all later. Bye.